Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Real Island Boy, on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and also now Facebook. Make sure y'all follow your boy um, on all social media, but I came to y'all today with a little tea. I just watched my Aunt Wendy on the Wendy Williams show today, and guess who she had on her as her guest on today's show? DBJ, DBJ from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. You know he's gonna have a spin-off show coming up on December 19th at 9 p.m. on VH1. Leave it to Stevie. I know I'll be watching, but guess what? He answered some burning questions that Wendy had for him today, and I want to go ahead and share them with you all. Listen. Now, Jocelyn, who I haven't known as long as you, but I love her right. as much as you. Right, absolutely. Are you her baby's father? I came here for today. Mm. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, Steve, we spent five and a half years together, and you know, I'm gonna always be there for her as a friend or as a baby dad. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, do you consider Jocelyn your girlfriend? Um, right now. No, that's a no. Mm, no, no, no. Do you have a girlfriend right now? Oh. Huh? Oh, look at that face. Look at that, you know, that damn rat face shit. Okay, okay. You know. All right. He's a mess. Well, you both said that you would marry um, the So, Wendy asked him all the good questions. 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 She asked him, you know, if she's, um, if he's, um, Jocelyn Hernandez's baby father. Um, and he says no. Sorry, my bad. He says, I guess, basically, if he is or is not... Um, he will take care of his responsibility. Um, I guess basically he's waiting for the paternity test. Wendy did tell him that she did, um, talk to him to the TV about, well, talk to Jocelyn saying that she should, um, you know, get a toothbrush or some comb from, some hair from a comb and get a paternity test for themselves if Stevie don't want to volunteer and get the test done. Also, Wendy did confront him also about the marriage. Um, that he so called was married to Jocelyn. Child, we know he ain't them them damn married to no Jocelyn. Was all for a plot of ATL how um ATL love and hip hop, and um he said that oh he married her spiritually, really. I didn't know they were together for five and a half years. Did y'all know that? Anyway, um, he said coming out with Jocelyn. Um, when they asked him if he is the father of Jocelyn Hernandez's baby, would he get back with her to um you know. Be together as you know, uh, you know, for the family. He said that um, he said that he will do whatever is right for the baby or the child if it's his because he take care of all his kids. When did also bring up that we know that we heard through the the tabloids and stuff words on the street is that you owe one million dollar in back child support. He said, let me clear up that I do have five children with four baby mothers and probably. Now, one from Jocelyn coming up, possibly, or po one possibly with Jocelyn. And he said he doesn't owe $1 million in child support. However, he owes some money, but it's not so much. <laughs> so, I don't know. Jocelyn also is getting her own spinoff show. I'm not sure if you've heard. She's getting her own little, not really a spinoff, a little special. I think it says called um, Jocelyn Deliver. You know, maybe a little two-part something, something special where she's going to be show her Deliver for her baby. Child, Jocelyn and Steve is all in the hustle boat. I don't know who's their management, but they're trying to make sure they get all these coins from all these damn situations going on right now. You know, because it's a um, love and hip hop is currently on, you know, what we call it, what they call it again. Um, might be taping right now, and you know, for extra coins, why not get a little spin off, a little something, something while you know. Oh, he asked her about this. Hold on, he asked um, about the Rick Ross and Jocelyn picture. Chance for you to get back together with her and be. In a loving relationship, I would do the best thing that I possibly can in my power to take care of my baby as I take care of all five of my baby. So, she did ask him, she did ask, um, Phoebe about if what about that picture with um Rick Ross and her, and he said that was inappropriate because she they were together. And he's not blaming Jocelyn or Rick Ross for the situation, which he couldn't, shouldn't, because you know. Rick Ross didn't ask to take a picture with Jocelyn. And if Jocelyn was with, with Stevie and she didn't want to be all booed up in a picture like that with um, Rick Ross, she, he should have not, you know, she should have not um, be all booed up like that anyway. So both people are to be blamed if they were, you know, 
they know what's going on. Anyway, um, what does he talk about? Sorry, hold on. Oh, oh, Wendy asks about him and Faith Evans. You know, he's having a show coming up, and uh, Wendy's like, let me if I can find it real quick so she can, uh, you can hear it. Hold on. Hold on. Um, it's a good interview. He did talk real. Oh, he still says still cool Puffy. He's still cool with Puffy. You know, I think what was what was he not a part of the um the Bad Boys reunion tour? He says still cool with Puffy. You no, know, it's Puffy and him go way back. But also, Wendy did ask him about him and Faith Evans. Hold on, to get a tea. Hold on, oh, this part is juicy. Dating Faith Evans, a friend. Oh, excuse me. I mean, that's my friend. Stevie. Yes. I'm calling with with a B, not a V. All right, listen. Stevie. That's my, this is my friend. Mm -hmm. We tra we travel we travel down that road back in this travel down that road mean that y'all y'all travel down that road before. Okay, and one more thing, very important. One more thing. Very important. You and Mariah Carey. Okay. No, 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 no. Once upon a time there was an air gone by, and I was a part. But look at the young you, Stevie. Uh -huh. ah, all right, young Stevie. <laughs> what happened? I mean, we spent a lot of time in the studio, and um. If you watch Leave It to Steve, you know, he's still with 19. Roll the tape, roll the tape. He was on Wildin' Out with Nick Cannon. Okay, well, that's not what you told Nick Cannon. I mean, Nick We've is... got the receipts. Roll it. Oh. Hold on. That's uh -oh. nice. That's nice. But I already hit Mariah off twice. Oh! Uh, I'm leave so... I don't know if he was just joking or whatever, say he hit Mariah twice. You know, they, when you go on Wildin' Out on MTV, that show that Nick Cannon has, people say shit every time and they talk smacks. So I don't know if that is even true that he messed with Mariah twice. But anyway, he, he says not, you know, see, see what he said about Faith Evans. He says he's cool with Diddy still. Um, he said it's not, art is art is not Jason Baby's daddy. He didn't deny or admit. So we'll see that. Make sure you watch his um his VH1 um new spin-off show that starts November December 19, 9 p.m. Check a local listing. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel here, Rasta Boy TV. Thank you so much for who's been subscribing. Happy holidays to everybody out there who are new subscribers. Thank you so much for watching my channel, Rasta Boy TV. And don't forget to also add me on social media. Real R E A L Island I S L A N D B W O I. So real island boy on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and now on Facebook. I'll go. I've gotta go. Be all safe and happy um, weekend. T G I F. Turn up.